What's up guys? Tony with the Opkutski here and just got home from Walmart and I wanted to show you guys how bad my addiction actually is. Spending a little over a hundred bucks. I got a cool little figurine of Gogeta which has been my favorite since Forever since I was a little kid Stardust Breaker is by far the best attack in the DBZ universe So I'll be busting this bad boy open Got one Genesis impact blister Five blazing vortexes I've always had good luck at Walmart pulling expensive cards So hopefully I can get some starlights maybe another star liege or uh, another one of them underworld goddess to put in a trade binder um, sorry for that glare that keeps happening I don't have any blinds on the windows up here yet so sorry about that I got a box of maximum gold a box of dual overload so we'll set these aside for a second cuz I want to bust open Gogeta Seems pretty cool. I had to buy it. It's gonna be once I get my uh, studio area set up, I will be uh, having all these figurines, and I'll be getting some resin statues for, of Naruto characters. But yeah, there's a uh, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. Hopefully he can bring us some luck in this video. <laughs> He's so freaking cool looking. Alright. Set him right here. Um, oh yeah, and I don't know if anybody has, you know, wanted to see the full tattoo I got on my arm, but, uh, got Itachi. It's hard to move this camera. I'll do it on the face cam. Got Itachi. And then Sasuke. With Auda. Almost said Manda, but that's Orochimaru summoning snake. Um, you know what might be a problem? Let's turn this light on. Does that do anything? No, that makes it worse. Okay, sorry guys. Back to the opening. Let's get into this Genesis Impact. See if I can get a collector's rare in this, or is that only Toon Chaos? Can't remember off the top of my head. But, about to find out. Ooh, Nightmare Griffin is... Are these all rares? Okay. Nightmare Griffin... Drytron, Drytron Eclipse, what was it, this was Drytron Delta Atlas, but those are for, uh, man, if only they weren't for a, uh, oh, Evoked, I don't know how to pronounce that, and I don't want to say it, because it would sound wrong, Sositus, or Cacutus. Um, but if these weren't for ritual monsters, they might be good in the Cyber Dragon deck because they are level one. Machine do blink climb with them. Majestus invocation. All right, now what do we get here? World legacy, world lance. So, oh, I missed the <laughs> nightmare unicorn as. A super which is a beautiful card really very pretty card okay 
Um, I forgot to turn the chandelier on. That might make this better. Five seconds. Hold on. Uh, yeah, that makes a little bit of a difference. And let's... Or is this... This is a collector's rare. Oh my gosh. Right when I sat down, I, when I turned the light on, I could tell. Look at that. That is... I'll try and pick it up on the camera, but I can feel it. Let's see if I can get it around the edges. That's probably where you... Yeah, see, that's where you can kind of see it the best is... That is awesome. That's cool as hell. I should have bought some more Genesis Impact packs. I might be going back to Walmart there, guys. <laughs> so that's the addiction. Uh, you know, you get good cards. Dude, I pulled three Phantasmes when they were first edition back when they were a hundred and some dollars from Walmart packs. And I pulled two Appaloosas back when they were the only printing of it from Walmart packs. That's crazy. That's awesome. Cool. Gogeta's bringing the luck, guys. Okay, now let's get into the... Uh, these blister packs right here of the... Um, excuse me, Blazing Vortex. These are going to take forever, so I'm just going to cut the rest of the boxes open after this one. Speed that up in the editing process. Which I am learning to do on my own, which isn't too hard, but it's a learning it's a learning experience, so I don't want that in the uh, hopefully I don't have to put it out. You didn't you didn't see that. Let's see, S Force Professor Di Gamma. Fabled Marcosa, Parametal Foes Melcaster, Pendulum Encore. Ooh, I have not gotten this card yet. Meta Reactor Gigadara. Dragon Effect. Ooh, and it's level three. You can discard one card, special summon one level 3 monster from your hand or deck. Or if you discarded a monster to activate this effect, you can special summon one. You can only use this effect. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except exceeds. I think I can make this work in my Cyber Dragon deck. Um, sorry guys, um, my camera died, so I had to change the batteries, and while I was doing that, I put this, uh, Collector's Rare Nightmare Unicorn in a hard case, because it's, uh, I looked up the price on TCG, and it's a $60 card. That's why I said I get so lucky at Walmart. I bought one Genesis Impact pack, and I got a collector's rare from it. That is crazy. I want to see if... Uh... Yeah, you can kind of pick up the embossment on it. Yeah. 
So that's going to go in a hard case for now. And I must have had a Lysdexic moment because uh, this media or meteor actor Gigadora I cannot use because I read it wrong. I thought it said special summon level one monsters, not level three monsters, so I can't use it in my deck. But we got that bad boy right there. Which is awesome. Keep bringing us the luck, Gogeta. Um, so that's the Ultra. And we got Sheena, Unclap Spare, Springins, Pador, Archfiend, Staff of Despair, Warrock, Orpus. Pack. Let's get some more lucky pulls. Pendulum Encore. Knight of Armor Dragon. Ancient Warrior Saga. Chivalrous Path. Ancient Warrior stuff. Fable to Narcosa. Greater Poly. What is this? Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using three or more monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. And if you do, it gains this effect. Cannot be destroyed by card effect. And it inflicts piercing. Ooh. This is going in my deck. Ooh. This is most definitely going in my deck. Amanano Kojaki. S4 Specimen, Arm Dragon Blitz, Springin's Pador. Okay. Let's see about the foils. Yeah, that's awesome, because I could make a... Uh, I could make a Rampage off a of Super Poly. Or I could make a Rampage off of this Greater Poly. And then it gets piercing for all three attacks if there's monsters on the board. This is a great card for my deck. Let's hit that one on this side. Wow, I'm getting some good pulls here, guys. Amazing pulls. Okay, let's see here. What can we get next? Springin's Branga, S Force Professor Digamma, Fairy Archer, Ig Inganar, Arm Dragon Lightning. Paramedal Floor is Azorless. Like, yeah, I don't play Pendulum, so. Virtual World, Zanwu, Stairway to Fabled Realm, Fabled Abenak, Fabled Treason. We got two Ultras. A super and a collector's rare from random Walmart packs. Love the Walmart here in Gaylord, Michigan. S Force Showdown, Spring and Skull, Rota Troops, Virtual World 2 2. Hmm, cool. Spring and Captain Sargas. Ojama Pink, Digital Bug, Registrator, Tribe Raid Rendezvous. Let's see. 
I'm getting a lot of the virtual world cards. I could uh, build that deck. Last pack of the blisters. Can we get a secret or a starlight? It's tough to open. Could be a good sign. Let's see. <clears throat> Fairy Archer, Ingnar, Arm Dragon Lightning, Parametal Foes Fusion, Guitar Girls. Ooh, Arm Dragon Thunder level 7. It's the second one of those I have. Stairway to Fable Realm, Triread Ramu, Ancient Staff to Spare, Radiant Vorisons. When this card is normal summoned while your opponent controls a monster, you can discard one card, send any number of the Radiant. Okay, so yeah, this is Radiant for. Uh, that's specific to that deck. Okay. So. It's the first one for today but when i opened the box i got that one so i have two arm dragon level sevens okay cool now um save maximum gold for last because i want some gold imperms or a gold infinity because I just I don't know I love the max I lo I've always loved the premium golds I've some people say they hate them I don't know why because I think they're so cool looking so I always buy the golds whenever they're around oh I forgot these come with giant cards let's see what do we get what do we get what do we get I have Tour Guide, The Dark Magicians, and Stardust Dragon. So hopefully we can get a new one. Oh, second Stardust Dragon. That's alright though. That is alright though. Okay, cool. Set this to the side. So we got. I'm looking for Hulk. Um, and I think that's it, really. I don't know what else. I forget what comes in the dual overload set. Five-headed Link Dragon, I know that, but... Ooh, these are all hollows, too. Abyss Actor. Hyper Director. Herald of Mirage Lights, that's a good one. Two monsters, same type and attribute. When a spell or trap or effect is activated. Oh, so it's based in Fairy. Ooh, Dingirsu. I don't... I, I Honestly, it hurt my heart to have people playing the Orcus Cyber Dragon because... Uh, I don't know. I love the traditional Zane build and I've been playing it and adding just Cyber Dragon cards. But this is definitely, if I was to add... I might make an Orcus Cyber Dragon deck because this is such a good card. But instead of changing the whole deck around, I just like having it to where I can consistently set up, have a hand trap or two in hand, like effect failure and an imperm. I could search Cybernetic Revolution. And then I have an Infinity and a Constellar Pleiades. So that's like four or five negates. Synchro Transcend. Malefic Tune. But they're definitely... Ding is a good card. 
Speedroid <coughs> Marble Machines. Blackwing Zephyros, this the Elite. Okay, so that's just a free summon. Oh no, okay, eh, nah, nah, not to get, okay. Condemn Dark Lord, DD King Gilgamesh, Vanity's Ruler. Hmm. Wins one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's a two to some. I could use that in my deck because it's a light. And, you know, we'll see. Possibly side deck it. Possible side deck. Because I can spam monsters. I can get five monsters on the board so easy and then reoccur them twice. So I can make it. That's the only reason I'm playing the uh, Underworld Goddess in my deck. Water Giraffe. Oh, there's the Cybernetic Overflow. Trap Tricks. Ooh, there's the Waifu card. That's a good one. King Yosuke. Ooh. Magic formula. Equipped to Dark Magician or DMG. Gain 700 attack. This is card is sent from the field to GY. Gain 1000 life points. It's a pretty good card for a Dark Magician deck. And that's why I'm going to set it right over here with my Dark Magician cards. Sorry guys, We've got some Jolly Ranchers and just brushed my tooth. Okay, Emma's Judgment. When your opponent special summon, oh, this is for zombies. Deck Lockdown. Neither player can add cards from their deck to their hand except by drawing them. Monsters cannot be special summoned from the main deck. Destroy this card. During your second standby phase after activation. This would be a good side deck card. Good. Excuse me. This would be a good side deck card. Make my whole board. And then. Lock, and then just play that. Ooh, got one, got one of the cover cards. Tinny Spirit and another Gilgamesh and Card of Fate. What's this? Either player chooses one card from their deck, then each player combines it with four additional random cards chosen from their deck by their opponent. Then randomly selects one of those five cards to reveal, add it to their hand, shuffle the wreck. Ooh. It's another good draw card. Okay, that's definitely going in my deck. Instead of pin, eh, I don't know. I like playing pinpoint landing because if I go first, I'm always special summoning with cyber dragons, which next video will be my cyber dragon deck profile with all these new cards I'm adding to it. Ooh, another deck lockdown. I think I'm gonna try and find a way to main that. I'll play Malefics. Madolche. Ch Chocolate a la Ooh, another card of fate. Oh, drama Emperor. <clears throat> Last pack. Can we get... Can we get the help? Ferocious Frank Flame Swordsman. Don't have that one yet. <gasps> Destiny Hero Celestial. Plot of Predator Plant Vert. 
I already have one of them and them scrap orthos but these are gonna go for my second cyber dragon deck build just because and I might uh, not gonna put that on I might go in the second one but I'm gonna work on a way to put these in for sure. Now, time to bust bust open the last of what we got. Maximum gold. And I'm going to post a few clips in at the end of my deck profile video of a maximum gold box that I got. That was a misprint box, and I will give you no more information than that, but it was crazy misprints crazy and I guess not necessarily misprints but mi miss packs if you know what I mean but I'm telling you you're gonna want to stay to the end of the deck profile video to watch uh, ooh, what's going on there to watch uh, the clips of these amazing maximum gold packs Okay. I always thought there were six. But I guess I'm wrong. Oh four yep, yeah, yeah, I'm wrong. There's one four packs. Whatever. Alright, let's go, baby. Let's get uh the imperms. Magical Meltdown. Queen of the Night. Get Puppet Giant Grinder. Mistake. Ooh, Phantom Knight's Rusty Bardiche. The <laughs> Ghost Sister Spooky Dogwood. And Secret Sword of Seven Stars. What does Rusty do? I've never actually owned this card. But I do want to build Phantom Knights because I have a playset of Fog Blades I pulled. Two Dark Monsters. During main phase, send one Phantom Knights from a decked grave. Set a Phantom Knight spell or trap directly from deck to spell and traps. If a dark exceeds, a special summon to a zone this points to while well, that monster is on the field you can target one card on the field destroy it you can only use each effect of rusty bardiche once per turn cannot be used as link material still a super cool looking gold rare <clears throat> sorry about the hiccups guys i don't know what's going on today Go, 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 guys. <gasps> Union Hanger. Forbidden Chalice. <gasps> Utopia Beyond. I don't think I have this card. But, um, it's got a good effect. This card exceeds the attack. Of opponent's monsters become zero. Quick effect, detached material, target one face up. Xyz monster you control and one utopia. Banish the first target, and if you do, special summon the second target, and it gains 1250. Then gain 1250. Sweet. Sweet. I only have the red eye, or I only have the red eyes. Which I think is the coolest of all of them because it's the only printing of Red Eyes that says Red Eyes Black Dragon instead of Red Eyes B Dragon. Which I understand, you know, whole racial, you know, but come on, it's Yu Gi Oh cards, dude. It's a black dragon. <gasps> it has nothing to do with race. But 
Oh my god, that's beautiful. Now all I need is the blue eyes. Okay, cool. Hopefully in the, one of these last two packs, the blue eyes is there. Barrier Statue of the Inferno. Drayden. Ooh, another Ghost Ogre. Temple of the Six. Miracle Contract. Ooh, Dryden. I don't play zoos, but I know it's going in my trade binder. Circle of the Fire King. Target one fire monster and one fire in the graveyard. Destroy the monster. You control special summon the one from the grave. I don't know much fire decks, so I don't know where that would be an acceptable card. But let's see. Last chance to get the blue eyes today. Dragon's Mirror. Union Hanger. Ooh, another Harpy's Feather Duster for a side deck. Silent Angler. Oh, Ghost Bell. I already have much of them. Oh, Fire Fists are fire. Okay. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist. Buffalo. <laughs> cool. I'm actually from Buffalo, New York, so it's a cool cut card for me and that's it for this opening guys I think the uh, I think the poll for today was the dark magician for sure and then obviously that greater poly is going to be good in my deck but this right here that's the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. Wow. All right, guys. See you on the next one. Peace.